Yo, BJ Ghidorah with the Daily BJ, and this is the 15 minute weight plate workout. The workout description is in the video description. Subscribe to my channel. Here are the movements. You want a nice pillow or pad for the knees. We're gonna start with a truck driver from a tall kneeling position. So pull the rib shoulders down, crunch the abs. Think about get, balancing a glass of water on your head. Dig the back toes in the ground and squeeze the glutes. You're gonna take a weight plate, start with a 10. You can progress to a 25. Hold it right at shoulder level. And then from there, we're creating internal external rotation while isometrically holding the plate at chest level. You're also getting crazy amounts of core and glute activation, nice and slow. Drive that truck. From there, we're gonna go into a bear crawl complex. 30 seconds going forward, 30 seconds going back. I'm also gonna quickly show the push-up while I'm in this position. Uh, obviously, this is easiest when a partner can put the plate on your back, but you can also have it so when you put it there, you've got the handles like this, just kind of slide it down on the upper back, get into a bear crawl position, and then you're good from there. So that's gonna slow you down, also load you up, more strength and stability. You're gonna take a couple steps forward, a couple steps back. Just keep repeating that pattern, balancing the plate. Okay, and then when we go sideways, similar. I'm walking over the weight plate now, aren't I? Then you go 30 seconds lateral when I come to the coming out of this you're just gonna grab the handle like this and you can pull it off to the side the push-up let me show that since I'm here so again put it right back on make sure it's not touching any part of the neck so you got to have a nice good mobility and stretch in that position one and a half push-ups I'm gonna balance it out Go perfect lock the feet together squeeze the legs together lower all the way down come up halfway lower back down all the way up fully, pushing the shoulder blades away at the top. Once again, all the way down, up halfway, back down, all the way up. And then again, coming out, kind of scrunch down, grab that handle, and then just kind of swing it around the body, all right? So it is doable, it takes a little practice, do the best you can. You can also start with lighter plates until you get comfortable with that pattern. Then we're gonna go into a full set on one side, then switch, halo multi-level split squat. Hold your weight like this. The best way this workout is done, by the way, you gotta have ideally access to plates where you can actually hold handles and hook them like that. But I'm gonna get into the bottom of the split squat. Legs at 90 degree angles. Forward knee is fine as long as the foot is flat. And then from there, I'm going to hold it like this. Pass it around my body. Stand up. Pass it around my body. Lower. So I keep repeating that pattern for time, working Triplanar core stability, mobilizing the hips, smoking the legs. Keep repeating that pattern, then switch sides. The next set. This one's a lot of fun. You know, I used to be fat. It's almost anytime I can make a food name for my exercises, I do it. We're going pizza carries extra large, extra sauce, extra meat. Pull the arm at 90 degrees, slowly walk, bring it back. So you're holding on the palm. Oh, the aromas. Crushed red pepper, a little hot sauce on top. Now we're talking. Besides smoking the arms and the shoulder, loading one side of the body makes the opposite side oblique and core work very hard to stabilize the spine. So I love that one. From there, we're going into alternating reverse lunges from deficit. So what we're gonna do is the deficit can be created by one or two plates. Two is obviously harder. So what I'm gonna do is take my weight plate of choice, Got a 45 here. I'm gonna stand on these plates to extend the range of motion, make my quads and glutes work harder. Also it takes a little pressure off the knee, believe it or not. So I'm gonna hold it overhead, crunch the abs, rip shoulders down, slowly step back, land in control, pull right through, and then switch sides. All the while, keeping full extension of the arms and my core position locked down, all right? You're gonna alternate sides on those. Then we go into Gorilla Rows. This is like a crazy ass workout. Everybody else is like, I'm gonna get in the three exercise workout. They don't wanna do the extra work like Bloge does. Bloge puts in the extra work. So I'm gonna go sumo stance, nice and wide. From there, one pushes down, while the other one pulls tight to the ribs. Gorilla Rose, looking like a silverback. All right, carnivorous silverback. And uh, also great core stability, good push-pull mechanics. So the key is, you want to 
really push as far down as you pull. That's key to making this exercise work. It also, for those with back issues, mobility issues, allows you to do your rows with a more chest up position, puts you in a safer position for long-term benefits. Alternating lateral lunges. I don't like these with dumbbells that much because the weights tend to hit the legs, especially have bigger legs where you use heavier weights. But these thin ass plates, even though you can go 25s, 45s, allow you to step over and not have any sort of obstruction as you do it. So working lateral hips and glutes, a very knee friendly movement and a side to side plane of movement. Chest stays up, always on those shoulders higher than the hips and you wanna keep your hips and shoulders square ahead. Awesome exercise, you can either increase the weight or pick up the speed. Then we're going into bottoms up clean the presses. Total body metabolic disaster with a little stability built into it. So think about assuming that triple bend ankle knee hip position, hold it. I'm gonna clean up, press. And I gotta squeeze these handles hard to stabilize. Rock that out. Final movement, uneven suitcase carry. So I'm gonna grab a 45 and a 25. You can switch sides from round to round or halfway into the work period. I'm just gonna hold it here. And uneven means this oblique is gonna have to work harder to stabilize. Same for my lateral hips. So stay tall, step forward, land soft, step right into your next rep. And then I would switch sides either halfway or from round to round. Awesome workout. Subscribe to my channel. If you want more minimal equipment, fat loss workouts put into a monthly program where I tell you exactly what to do when, 30 minutes or less, three times a week, burn fat, build muscle, boost metabolism, anytime, anywhere, get a three-day free trial to thedailybj.com today. Hashtag not a porn site.